So I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel and this series is going to be called Stock Market Beginner Mistakes and this is only meant for newer viewers, people who are newer to the stock market and hopefully it will help you get a better idea of what you should be doing and what you should not be doing and some of the common mistakes that newer investors make. So in this video I'm going to be addressing the all common mistake of not having a plan whenever investing into stocks and a very common scenario that comes up is people will take a little bit of money that they've saved up and they will put it into the stock market. Now they will buy a specific stock and they will hold it for a non-defined time period. And holding a stock for a non-defined time period, usually you know, the stock will go up, the stock will go down a little bit, but a lot of people whenever a stock starts going down, they will start getting panicky and they will start getting emotional and they will sell the stock at a loss because they are losing money, they're not happy about it. And during this whole transaction, people won't really learn anything because you know, you got emotional, you you sold your stock. In the future it might go up, you might regret it. it it's not going to teach you anything. So the way that you fix this is have a plan. So if you create a plan, if you define a specific time scale that you want to hold a stock for and you define specific reasons why you want to buy a stock, at the very least, if you do end up losing money on that stock, you're going to have concrete reasons why you lost money on your stock and you're going to understand that maybe you should have held the stock for longer, maybe you should have held the stock for less, or you're going to be able to come back and say that, okay, well, I considered reasons X, Y, and Z, but I did not consider reason, you know, reason A or something like that. You might have not considered the whole picture. You might have missed on something. You might have not weighed something correctly. You will at least have an understanding. You will learn something from your transaction by having a plan and something that you want to go through with. Now, some of the other things that you might, might want to consider is if you're going to be investing in a, into a stock for the long term, uh, you might want to consider how the stock complements your portfolio. So if you're going to be saving up for your retirement, for example, you might want to diversify. You don't want to just buy stocks from one industry, for example. Like if you buy all retail stocks, then you're probably not going to do very well in, very well in the upcoming years uh, because retailers are doing quite badly. Also, if you're uncomfortable with losing more than a specific percentage of your money, set a stop loss. Uh, this will basically allow you to sell your stocks if they hit a certain point. So if you're not going to be checking on your stocks daily or hourly, uh, by setting a stop loss, your stocks will be sold automatically for you if they drop below a certain price. So that will prevent you from losing more money than you want to. So that's good. So by having a plan, all of these things are going to affect. And more, most importantly, you will actually learn something and you will be able to play specific scenarios and give yourself reasons why a stock might be good or why it might not be good. So to give you an example of how something like this would work, uh, here's a chart of Netflix. Netflix is a stock that I paid attention to quite a lot recently and in the past as well. But during 2016, uh, Netflix had this quarter over here that I was paying attention to for quite a while. So Netflix came out with the earnings results for one of its quarters and they had significantly less subscribers than people had expected. And because of this, Netflix dropped 12%. Now I thought that this was an overreaction to a, to a mediocre quarter that Netflix had and I decided that I was going to buy Netflix stock for, for about a month and I thought that during that month people would forget about the quarter or they would rationalize it in some sort of way and that the stock price would eventually go up to where it was before because people would expect Netflix to do better in the next quarter and Netflix would have new shows coming out, all of that different stuff. I thought that this that this bad quarter would be overlooked fairly quickly, and it turns out that I was right. Uh, in about three weeks, Netflix went back up to its original price where it was before. It went up about 12%. I sold it in about three weeks, and I ended up making decent money. So, you know, by doing something like this, you have a specific plan. You have something to go through. If Netflix did start falling, for example, I wouldn't have panic sold because I had a specific time scale in mind that I wanted to hold it for. And even if I did lose money on this transaction, I would at least have a reason of why I did so, you know. If I did lose money, well, then maybe I was wrong about Netflix stock. Maybe people don't like Netflix as much as I thought that they did. Uh, in the end, I did end up being right, so good for me. You know, I, I learned something. So do stuff like this. It will help you. It will help you better understand stocks. It will also force you to give better reasons of why you want to do something. And whenever you have to give reasons to yourself why you do something, uh, if you do it rationally, if you do it properly, then it will prevent you from making mistakes that otherwise you might have been, you might have made. So hopefully this helps. If it does, leave a like. I will be posting more videos like this in the future. So hopefully these are helpful. And check out my channel.